What's up guys, this is English Grammar Explained and this time we talk about modal verbs again but especially about ability. One thing that modal verbs express very very often is ability. Ability means that somebody or someone, me or you or whoever else can do something or is able to do something. That's ability. It's from be able. Be able to do something. Fair enough. Let's look at these examples. Uh, number one, I'm sorry, but I can't come to your party. So here we talk about something in the future, but we talk about it in the present. So here we have present to future. Now we talk about something that cannot or is impossible to happen in the future. And here I have this ability. So, in other words, I'm sorry, but I will not have time, or I will not have any chance, or I will not be able to come to your party. That's the message. So this is my ability or inability, to be exact, inability to come to somebody's party. Okay, what about number two? Linda can drive, but she hasn't got a car. So here, she has some skills. She can drive because she is a driver or she has a license or she just has necessary skills. In other words, she is able to drive. Here we talk about present again. Number three. Though I tried, I could not open the door. And here we talk about past events. So in the past, maybe yesterday, maybe months ago, maybe two hours ago, it doesn't matter really, I tried to open the door, but I could not open. In other words, I didn't have ability, didn't have any chance or was not able to do it. And that's it. So, what we have? We can talk about ability in the present or even in the future. Of course, we can talk about some ability or inability, if you will, in the present. And of course, we can talk about something that could not happen or I did not have any chance to do it in the past. So I can talk about present, future and past and in these situations I need modal verbs. And in all these three cases I used modal verb can. Here, here and even here. Can or its forms. Negative form or past form. And that's very important to remember that can or its form could equals ability or inability to do something. So talking about ability, we can describe events uh, in the present, in the past and in the future. But what is the difference? As for present, we use can or its analog be able to. Let's have some example. I can swim. This thing refers to the present because I put can here and that's enough. Of course I can make it this way. I'm able to swim. That's just the same thing. So what about past? Can I use can with past events? No. No, no, no. Here we use could. That's the form of can. Or its analog was or were able to. The same example here. I could swim when I was five. Or in other words, I was able to swim when I was five. That's it. What about future? Here I use can or be able to. As you see, present and future are quite similar. For example, I can swim if you help me. That's future condition. It refers to the future. Or I will be able. Pay attention. Here we have the auxiliary verb. 
Well, I will be able to swim soon. Perhaps now I'm just taking some lessons, but I will be able to swim in the future, soon. As we see, to express ability, we just need can, could, and be able to. What about inability? If I want to say that I'm unable to do something, cannot, or just can't, and of course its form could not, or its short form couldn't, equals inability. So if I continue my chart here below, I can say that I cannot swim in the present, and I am not able to swim in the present either. Or, in other words, I am unable to swim. That's all the same. As for the past, I could not swim. Perhaps I didn't have necessary skills. I could not swim when I was five. Or, in other words, I was not able to swim when I was five. And last but not least, future. I cannot or I can't, just for difference, swim if you don't help me. And that's it. It's all about ability and inability. As you see, we use can, could, able to, or be able to, to be exact. And it's negatives to express inability. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please leave your comments. Please subscribe, like or dislike, share or whatever. Thanks for watching again and see you in the next video.